Smith here. I recently did a chest and tricep training session um, and I filmed it. So I'm just gonna walk through it with you guys, um, kind of give you an insight into how I train and why I pick certain exercises and why I do things the way I do them. Um, so I train progressive overload style. So I'll typically have usually around two to four warm-up sets, followed by one to two working sets, typically only one. And uh, for that working set, I'll fail at around eight to 12 reps, usually eight. I started with a flat Smith machine bench press today. I know the Smith machine gets a lot of flack because it's not hardcore or whatever, but uh, I feel the uh, movement more um, in my pecs versus say if I was doing a barbell, free weight barbell bench press. Um, it's safer. I don't need a spot. Um, usually I train around 12 or one. So it's a, it's a ghost town for the most part um, during the time I train. So I don't have to, so I don't have anyone to spot me. And not that anybody would want to spot me anyway. But um, I started with one plate per side on the uh, bench press, the Smith Machine bench press. Uh, knocked out a couple reps. Um, now with your warm up sets, um, I'm not trying to fatigue myself too much. I'm trying to conserve my strength, my energy, uh, my nervous system for my top set. So typically um, during my warm up sets, I might get anywhere from five to 12 to 15, somewhere, somewhere around there. It just depends on how heavy the weight is. Um, relative to the exercise. But um, I started with one plate per side, moved into two, three, four, and then my top set I decided today was going to be five plates per side, in which I failed at around seven. Uh, now, I was going for eight. I thought I could get eight today, but apparently my strength isn't up to par yet. Um, in due time it will be though. Uh, I moved into an incline Smith machine press. I was being kind of an asshole today, hogging the Smith machine. Um, but I chose this because I really need to work on obtaining more mass in my upper chest. So using my chest training, I'll incorporate two upper chest movements. Um, incline Smith machine bench, I feel um, it's really good for adding mass. So I started with two plates per side um, because I was already pretty warmed up from the prior exercise. Moved into three plates per side. And then my working set was with four plates per side to which again, I think I failed at around seven. Wasn't planning on it. I threw in a rest pause set. So I failed um, on my original set uh, went to failure and then rested 20 seconds and then went to failure again. This is just a way of kind of extending the intensity out, putting more stress on the muscle, more time under tension. It's a good technique to use. It's a lot like uh, drop sets. I moved into an incline dumbbell fly. Um, I really like dumbbell flies versus say machine flies or cable flies because for me, I feel them better and I just think they're superior at building muscle uh, in my experience. So with the incline dumbbell fly, I started with I think 50 pounds, knocked out a couple reps, moved into 75 pounds for a couple reps. Um, and then my top set was with uh, 110s, which I mistakenly grabbed, I was really um, supposed to grab the 105s today, um, but I ended up getting six with the 110s. And in retrospect, I guess I was, I was pretty happy with that, although I'd like eight in the near future. Um, so with the incline dumbbell flies, I'm really trying to concentrate on getting a stretch at the bottom and then following that stretch up into a really hard contraction at the top. Last chest movement was a cable fly. 
and um, I typically will do two pressing movements and a chest training session and two fly movements. Um, so I chose a cable fly uh, for my last movement today. Um, now there's several ways to do this. Some people stand upright, some people take a couple steps out and kind of angle their bodies. Um, today, I was bent over at about a 90 degree angle and I stood right in the center of the cables and I really feel this more in the top part of my chest. Um, again, that's an area that's uh, lagging a little bit for me. So that's why I did the cable fly uh, in that manner. Now I did, um, I think, three total sets. And on my top set, uh, I included a drop set again to uh, increase, intensify the, uh, the set and um, put more stress, more time and under tension on the muscle. That concluded my chest training. Now I usually pair triceps with chest um, because um, I have a little bit of elbow tendonitis. So I find that if I do chest first, uh, it kind of warms up my elbows and I can just transition straight on into, um, into triceps uh, with no pain and I don't have to warm up as much. Um, so my, for my first exercise for triceps, I did a one-armed overhead extension and um, I think I did four sets total. Again, just pyramiding up really slow in weight, uh, not doing too many reps on the warm up sets uh, because uh, I wanted to conserve my strength for my top set, which I wanted to try 100 pound dumbbells today, um, which I got for eight. It was a difficult eight. Uh, ended up having to wrap my elbows again because of the elbow tendonitis. Uh, but I really like the overhead extension and uh, I recommend everyone include some type of overhead tricep exercise in their routines because it really emphasizes uh, the stretch at the bottom. So I feel it's, it's really good for building the long head of the tricep and um, it'll really kind of add to that drop. Uh, like say for, for example, if you hit like a back double bicep, um, in my opinion, it helps add uh, to that drop of the tricep. My second and final exercise for triceps um, was a tricep cable pushdown. Uh, I typically do only about two or three tricep movements um, after chest because usually they're fried from all the other pre heavy pressing that I've done uh, prior. So th with the tricep cable pushdowns, I really look forward to these because uh, I don't feel any uh, elbow pain at all versus say that tricep overhead extension that I just finished. Um, I chose the camber bar just because it's easy on my wrists and, and I get a really good contraction from it say versus a uh, straight bar. I don't know why. But um, again, just pyramiding the weight up slow, um, not trying to fatigue uh, yourself too much in the warm up sets. Um, I worked up to the full stack plus a 45 on there. Uh, I believe I got like eight to 10. And I decided to uh, add in a rest pause set. Again, just to uh, increase the intensity and the time under tension. Um, and by the, uh, by the end of that, my triceps were fried. So at the end of my workout, uh, I make sure I log all my weights and uh, kind of reevaluate for the next week and just try to beat those numbers. Might change some exercises around um, if I feel that I'm not making any progress, um, change the exercise order or just swap out exercises completely um, if I feel like I've kind of hit a plateau. Uh, but that pretty much sums up um, my chest and tricep training.